Here we have Wonderling being played on the Nintendo Switch. Um, this game is, uh, it's an interesting game. Um, I initially thought it was like a, like a, um, a, a platforming game. Uh, where you just kind of like a Mario type game. But, uh, this, it, it kind of throws you for a loop. Because you play as this carrot. And he's kind of, you know, he's going through here. And you find the scepter. I like how it breaks the fourth wall like that. How it, how it knows it's a video game. It's great. Or how the carrot knows it's a video game is what I'm going to say. But yeah, so you think it's just, you know, a, your average platformer, which I thought it, I thought it was, initially thought it was um, when I first started playing it. You'll see, though, that it's not. Mario. Fair Princess P. It is I, Carrot Man, protector of the vegetable kingdom. No matter how many times an evil witch kidnaps you, I'll be there to save you. And no freakish little mutants will stand in my way. And by the way, once you're rescued, there's no pressure to date or anything, okay? I mean, it's 2020, right? <laughs> Who knows what? <laughs> oh boy. Hey man, this is great. I love the cow. Oh no, my scepter. You'll pay for this, carrot man. Great, let's try less angry five this time and. The people of the Vigilant Kingdom should feel safe without vigilantes like Carrot Man running around stomping on people. What should I say next, Dash? I'm tired of people saying I'm just some brand of that boring old Turtle King. I mean, come on. He's like 35 years old. Honestly, <laughs> people just love someone they can connect to. Somebody cute and lovable who can speak for the people. Like the minions or a cow. Hmm. I'm gonna skip this. So essentially, um <clears throat> you start playing as the little yellow guy here, the, the Wonderland guy. And it is a, uh, a auto runner with one button to jump. Um, and that's kind of what threw me is I realized, hey, this is an auto runner platformer. This isn't a traditional platformer like I initially thought. Now, it doesn't take away from the gameplay experience. It's still a great game. Um, and it does add a bit of strategy to it as well. Uh, you have to get all of the, uh, all of the flowers all the fruits or, or seeds, whatever they want to call them. And the level is you want to try to get them all. And you eventually get like different um, uh, abilities. Like there's one that'll uh, let you uh, double jump, I believe. Or fly when you want to. Like that. I keep I've gotten maybe two or three worlds in this game, so not too far, but uh, at least a couple hours into it, and it's a lot of fun. I do like it. I like the humor. The gameplay is nice and easy to pick up. It's not too tough. Dialogue's just 
humorous and funny and great. But it kind of reminds me of like a cross between like um, uh, Jack and Jill, uh, which I, I also read on the channel, um, and uh, uh, Toki Toki, I guess you could say. No, not bad. I mean, you know, it's, those are great games to be to be paying tribute to, while also standing on, on your own as a good, decent game. Um, do I wish that it wasn't an auto runner? Yes. I wish it was more of a, of a traditional platformer. But does it take away from the overall experience of the gameplay and the fun? No, not at all. It's still fun, still enjoyable, um, and it's an overall really great game. It's just like you can use the mice to uh, get the chests and things. But you can use the chest to unlock, um, unlock like little um, uh, wearable items for, for the little winnowing to wear, like the mustache is one, and a uh, hat's another one. It's kind of cool. Kind of different. So the overall gameplay is homage, pays homage to a lot of games, but it's still a great game on its own. Or rather, it's it's different enough to be it's its own game. I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Um, definitely worth picking up. Excuse you gotta grab there's boxes as well. Oops. I don't think you guys get a great idea what the game's like. Definitely worth picking up if you guys like um platformers, auto runners, and uh, thank you so much to uh, uh, <clears throat> the uh, publisher for the review code, it's been awesome to check this game out, um, if you want to purchase it, link in the description, there will be the description down below as always, uh, link to purchase rather, um, and I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, as always, till next time, take care and happy gaming.